you guys, this is actually crazy what Shein has done and what influencers have been getting called out for this week. Like, I truly cannot process that this isn't like some big prank or something and that this is really something that happened. But Shein has been trending for the last few days because people cannot believe they decided to respond to the allegations and backlash that they've received over the years for their workplace conditions. Shein is a massive online clothing shop and they sell more than just that. They also have have home decor, makeup, a lot of random stuff besides clothes, but it is extremely cheap and that's the whole appeal. They're literally selling like a top for $3 sometimes and to think that the person that made that is making a fair wage, like come on. People have been super skeptical of this brand and there's been a ton of things that have come out about them. I've talked about this before because the brand faced backlash back in April when they rented out this massive mansion and paid influencers to attend Coachella. People were criticizing them for having the ability to spend all of this money on influencers when there's been all these accusations of them barely paying their actual employees. According to Time, a lengthy investigation by Wired first chronicled how both laborers and consumers suffered Suffered from the production of its clothes, a documentary by the UK's Channel 4 found that Shein employees are working 75-hour shifts with very little time off. Then, Swiss watchdog Public Eye released another detailed report in November which accused Shein of violating Chinese labor laws. The group hired independent Chinese researchers to track Shein's manufacturing and packing process in China and Europe and found that many were running informal factories set up in residential buildings. Buildings. Channel 4's documentary Inside the Shein Machine sent in undercovers that reported that one factory's daily base salary was paying $20 and if you made a mistake, it would be less than that. Now, to combat some of these accusations that have made some people hesitant to order from Shein and has also been a reason a lot of influencers working with them have faced backlash, Shein decided to invite a bunch of influencers to China and visit to hype up the workplace conditions. And yeah, I mean hype up because they have these influencers making videos every day of their trip saying that they interviewed the employees, they went to the factory, it was giving updated, renovated, clean, happy employees. Like this is crazy. Does this not scream one big marketing move? China trip has been one of the most life-changing trips of my life. Getting to see the whole process of Shein clothing from beginning to end with my own two eyes was so important for me. Kicking off the trip by heading to the factory of the leading manufacturer for Shein was the perfect way to start. I was really excited and impressed to see the working conditions. The next day, we headed to the Shein Innovation Center. This facility blew my mind. It's over 600,000 square feet. There's so much technology and Shein is just such a developed and complex company and it was so beautiful to see firsthand. I was able to interview a woman that worked in in the fabric cutting department and you guys know me she's an investigative journalist so i asked her all of our questions and she answered them honestly and authentically she was very surprised at all of the rumors that have been spread in the u.s she told me about her family her lifestyle her commute her hours our last stop was to the Shein warehouse this place was massive it's about 84 acres and almost fully run by technology and automation i was really impressed by the extensive checklist that each item had to go through before it shipped off i think my biggest takeaway from this trip is to be an independent thinker get the facts and see it with your own two eyes there's our narrative fed to us in the u.s US, and I'm one that always likes to be open-minded and seek the truth. So I'm grateful for that about myself. And I hope the same for you guys. These influencers were facing major backlash from all of their videos because they were just like, you guys, why would she be showing you guys bad stuff? You guys have your cameras out. Today we got a tour of one of Shein's factories, which was really interesting because I had never been in one before. I loved getting to learn about each step as well as actually see the working conditions for myself. Like many others, I've heard a lot of misinformation, so I enjoyed getting to see it firsthand. Each worker had their own space and it was cool to see that they use a lot of technology, which puts less work on the workers. The manager honestly y'all stood firm on stating there is no child labor involved and they do not support nor participate in it. Upon interviewing the workers, a lot of them were really confused and taken back with the child labor questions and the lead in the clothing questions because they basically said our kids want to be on social media just like y'all. They're not working in factories and our clothing grows through rigorous testing before production. When I ask them questions like what does your work week look like? How many hours do you work? What's your commute? Most of them work like eight to six and their commute is like 10 to 15 minutes just like normal. And one thing is for sure and it's that Shein is trying to get their money's worth because these influencers really are buttering them up with glowing reviews of the workplace. They're making making sure to say that there's no child labor going on in these factories and that most of the tasks are being fulfilled by robots. And these influencers are writing paragraphs 
each day about what they're witnessing along with videos of their experience. One influencer posted on her Instagram saying, Day four, as a public figure, I feel a responsibility to shed light on certain topics and bring awareness to a few of the many issues we have in the world. Child labor and fair wages are serious topics and were some of the questions you guys were curious about and wanted me to ask. When asking a few of the workers' employees about these topics, everyone we came across was content with their salary and the idea of child labor was something they looked at me crazy for, y'all. A lot of the people are just trying to make it an honest living and said their kids and the children they know are just like our kids in the states they aren't trying to work in factories they're trying to be on tiktok and instagram seeing how advanced guanju was firsthand was pleasantly surprising many brands big and small have ties to factories there i also found out that in 2022 she and official overtook amazon as the top shopping app in the u.s and a lot of y'all be shopping lol I just want to bring awareness and discuss topics that are important. I'm sure I can definitely go in a lot deeper, but let me know if y'all would be really interested. I'll be making a YouTube video answering more questions, and if y'all have any other topics you'd like me to dive into, let me know. Another creator said, It's hard for me to even put into words how this trip has impacted me. Not only getting to see with my own two eyes what the entire process of Shein official clothing looks like from beginning to end, but also getting to experience China surrounded by people born and raised there completely expanded my mind and just further confirmed how important travel and perspective is. You have to remember our country is filled with so much prejudice. We want to believe that we're the best and no one else can be better. But what if we're just different and no one is better than another? We can accept our differences and be intrigued by the individuality of it all. I'm so grateful for Dora's Classic who answered all of my million questions and taught me so much about her country and Shein. I feel more confident than ever with my partnership with Shein. There are so many companies not taking the initiative Shein is. They are aware of every single rumor and instead of staying quiet, they are fighting with all their power to not only show us the truth, but continue to improve and be the best they can possibly be. I feel happy knowing that I have such amazing people making the clothing I wear and that they are just as passionate with their work as I am. I'm so grateful I got to see them in their environment, speak to them and embrace them. There's a lot of debate online surrounding this trip with some people saying they just truly can't believe that anyone thought this was a good idea. And there's also a conversation surrounding the fact that some feel like Shein selected people they felt would say yes to this no matter what. People who aren't always included or invited on a brand trip and just couldn't pass up this opportunity because it was a once in a lifetime to be flown to China with a big name brand. And it's sad if they targeted this trip to those who aren't usually included and played into that to try and benefit from it themselves. And some were saying it shows the lengths that they were willing to go to to use people to change their image. So that's a whole conversation that's being had. But it seems like this trip turned more into something that wasn't beneficial for both the brand and the creators. People just felt like the whole thing was giving plotted and planned, really thought out on Shein's part with what they were going to have these creators say, what they were gonna have them show. Very strategic based here. And with these influencers being flown out, fed, getting free stuff, certainly has caused them to turn away from the red flags of the situation and ignore the backlash. And they are really defending Shein here. So it's day four here in China with Shein and we started off the day with Dim Sum for brunch. And just to say that I had that for brunch is crazy. Like just being here, experiencing the culture, talking with the people and really getting a feel for how China really is has been amazing. After that, we went to one of Shein's major warehouses where basically the products that you order online are stored here and shipped directly to your home but i really thought i was going to see like thousands upon thousands of workers there but honestly i was pleasantly surprised that a lot of the workload was robotic and you know what's crazy while brandon was taking over the position for the moment the girl was telling me that they get a nap time after lunch how crazy is that so after our factory tour it was time to head out to lunch and we got to try some authentic food y'all it was so good and so nice trying different things and even though sometimes that gets a little intimidating we were pleasantly surprised that we loved a lot of the dishes. Brandon got so into it. He even got like a personal demonstration on how to use chopsticks, even though I've been teaching him for like the past three years. The city is just honestly so amazing. We even went to the mall and did some window shopping before heading back. We're gonna be digging a little bit deeper into Shein and I want you guys to come back so you can find out more. One of the influencers, Danny, ended up coming out to address some of the backlash they've been receiving as a result of their post. Posts. Could never, will never be a sellout ever in life. I was not paid for any trip or to say anything. I was taken on a trip 
once in a lifetime chance you would have done the exact same thing. I have so much more awareness of what's going on behind the scenes than any of you ever could because you don't see what's going on. 90% of what's in your closet is made in horrible conditions. So you have no right to say anything. Second, I've seen stuff with my own two eyes. If you think it's propaganda, that's cool. Again, you've never been to China and you've never seen what's going on. Third, fifth seventh point okay there is so much xenophobia and racism with everything you guys are saying and that's what i really learned in china we are fed propaganda we are fed a whole line a whole narrative in the u.s about chinese people and chinese culture and that china trip honestly changed my life even remove the she and stuff just being able to experience china with chinese people and learning about that culture so many things i could say but i'm gonna let you guys go pop your talk your sh because like I said, I'm not the one. I know who I am. I know exactly what I'm doing. And to be a pioneer, you got to take a lot of sometimes. So it is what it is. I have love for everyone who knows me and sees me. For a majority of my life, I felt like I was never seen because of the person I am being a fat person. And I feel like my community actually sees me. The thing I'm confused about is how getting backlash for going on the Shein trip where they're debunking these allegations against them has stuff to do with them learning that there's a lot of racism in America because yes, there is. But how that's applying to this Shein situation has me a little confused because I'm literally Chinese I've experienced that racism firsthand but I'm not gonna be out here saying that Shein is the best brand and company and they're doing la di da and the factories and it's amazing and beautiful like it's definitely not racist to say that Shein isn't looking too hot right now this is why people have to disclose ads and in some places disclose if they were even gifted something for free because there is a bias there and people need to know you may have been influenced in some way, shape, or form to say what you're saying. Even if you're not paid money to say something good about a brand, if you are given something for free, it can change your judgment. For example, food. Food can be really good, but if you're paying for food, you're probably gonna be a little bit more critical. And that's with a lot of things, products and experiences. And this whole trip was giving under the influence. But I will say that Shein knew what they were doing when they selected these influencers to join the trip because they were bad to Ling for Shein's name. Like they were very much defending them. They still are. They picked loyal people. That's just that they really did. And people online are having a field day with this. And some are even pretending to be one of the influencers on the trip to like poke fun and recreate their content. Come with me, an influencer, as I tour the totally 100% real Shein factory. When I came in, I was immediately greeted by the tour guide. It was so pretty inside. So this is the real Shein factory. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Awesome. While touring through the factory workshop, at one point I came across people that looked like tiny children, but they told me they were just elves. It's just like the North Pole at Santa's workshop, but fashion. There was even a worker who was so emotional about her job that she was crying tears. She loves Shein so much that it brings her to tears. Just don't stain the fabric, girl. And then we came up to this dungeony looking spot of the factory, but it turned out to be nothing. What's behind this door here? Uh, there's nothing back there. Nothing at all. Nothing. But it says real factory on the sign and everything. Uh, it's not the real factory. Oh, okay. And that was my day at the totally real Shein factory. This whole thing was truly unbelievable to see actually happen, and it's just such a mess. I don't think it did anyone any good, but that's what's been going on with Shein and these influencers who were sent to China to promote the brand. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.